Public Health gave out free hepatitis A vaccines today after an employee at Eddie's Chicken and Waffles on East Livingston tested positive for the virus. NBC4 Sean Lanier joins us live with more from people getting their vaccines and what we can all do to prevent this from spreading. Sean? And that's right, 225 people walk through those doors today to get that free vaccine. Now, this is the second alert from Columbus Public Health concerning the spread of hepatitis A in two months. Now, the rise of this virus is something that local health officials say that they've been monitoring for a couple of years, and that's why they urge people who haven't been vaccinated to do so. What you have to do is just relax there. Uh, it's real quick. The process, you're in and out. You know, they have everything set up for Here you. Here we go. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. You are good. It's just like getting the flu shot. Several people lined the hallway here at Columbus Public Health to get their hepatitis A vaccine. James Moon was one of them. You don't want to keep that, you know, that doubt in your mind. So it's better just to get out and be safe. He says he ate here at Eddie's Chicken and Waffles on February 4th. It's during that time officials at Columbus Public Health say an employee at this restaurant got sick and tested positive for hepatitis A and could have spread the virus. Moon says he's getting his vaccine as a precaution, but hearing how easy this virus can spread does concern him. It makes you think maybe I should just stay at home and eat. Hepatitis A is, is unique in the world of hepatitis because it can be spread through food and water. Luke Jacobs works with Columbus Public Health. He says this is the largest outbreak of hepatitis A in this community in 25 years. 223 people tested positive with the virus here in Franklin County since January of 2018, according to the Ohio Department of Health. Jacob says there are two ways to slow the spread of hepatitis A. Vaccination plus hand washing really reduces the risk of folks that will come down with hepatitis A. And he also told me that it could take up to two months for symptoms to arrive in certain people. Now, if you were unable to make it here to Columbus Public Health today, they do hold immunization clinics five days a week if you want to get vaccinated then. Local for you in Columbus, Sean Lanier, NBC4. All right, John, thank you. Now